Listen, stop being mad at Robinhood. If anything, Robinhood has exposed government hypocrisy in a huge way, in a crazy way, and in sadly, an ironic way. And if you're gonna be angry at anybody, be angry at the government. To go back to like the when I was in like elementary school, hey, you started it, the government started it. All Robin Hood is doing is well behaving as, you know, the parents, the government. And what do I mean by this? Well, the big outrage right now, and actually let me take a step back to set up the political con context here, put up an image of just one of the articles out there, but as you see here in this headline, it's implying that Robin Hood, this catastrophe is bringing both sides of the aisle together. You have Cruz being mentioned, who is on the far right of things. You have AOC being mentioned, who is on the far left of things. But yet, Robin Hood and this maneuver they made, this manipulation they made, is bringing everybody together. Really? Really, government, are you sure you want to go down this path? I understand it. I'm just some dude on YouTube that's standing in front of a chalkboard from probably like 1952. But let's just apply a little critical thinking here. And for many of you, you, you probably are already well aware of these issues and they already frustrate you. But let's talk about government manipulation. And remember, the big outrage is Robin Hood would not let me buy. They restricted buying. They were not letting me buy. That is manipulation. That is this, that, and the other. And okay, I understand that point of view. But let me, let me write down something right here. P, D, T. Ever heard of the pattern day trading rule? P, D, T. What does that say? That says that, you know what? You are not allowed to buy and sell stocks as much as you want, unless what? Unless you have $25,000. Wait a second, so if I don't have $25,000, then I can't buy and sell stocks as much as I want? Nope, you can only do it three times for a rolling five-day period. Huh. Doesn't that sound like rest not restrict restricting you, restricting your choices, restricting your choice to do with your own money what you wanna do? It's, it sounds like that to me. And what is this? PDT, that is a government regulation. Government regulation. You can't buy and trade stocks as much as you want. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but that seems like manipulation. That seems like restricting people from doing what they wanna do. Which again, I get it, that's what Robin Hood did. They would not allow people to buy. But <clears throat> PDT rule, how about this? Halt. Ever been in a trading halt where a stock is going and the price is going crazy, 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 it could be up or down, and then it just halts? What is a halt? A halt is restricting people from both buying and selling. What is everybody mad at Robinhood about? What is the government? What is this unifying thing that Robinhood is bringing both sides of the aisle together about? Manipulation? The halt is the ultimate form of manipulation. It literally removes the control from the investors and traders' hands. Because if you've ever been there, I mean, the stock could be at $50, get halted, and then by the time it opens up, it could be at $40, which could be either bad or good for you, but the point here being, it's total manipulation. It totally restricts people from doing what they wanna do. So I mean, these are the two primary things, and in the comment section, what, what else? I'm sure there's other manipulation things from the government that I'm not thinking about, but the PDT rule and trading halts are two just glaring issues where I, I can see the conversation right now. I can see the government walking in. Hey, explain this manipulation. Explain why you would not allow people to do what they wanted to do. And I can see Robin Hood saying, excuse me, Mr. Government. Excuse me, pot, meat, kettle. Could you explain to me, Mr. Government, why you won't let people do what they wanna do unless they have $25,000? Why you literally halt stocks and then remove all power from anybody involved? Could you explain that to me, Mr. Government? So again, I understand people being mad at Robin Hood, but this is a joke when you see all these politicians trying to rise up, trying to wave, oh, what's going on? Give me a break. And this is what I'm scared of, and this is what's probably gonna happen, is that the government is gonna use this whole Robin Hood, this whole short squeeze thing to put in more regulations to protect everybody, to uh, and, and people, are you sure you want more government in your life? 
And I'm not talking about left, right, center. Do you really want more government when you have this blatant hypocrisy that just exists? And as you, now for the common person like my parents, I mean, they don't understand the hypocrisy that's out there because they don't understand these kind of nitty gritty rules. But as you and I, as traders that are, that are active in the markets, we should be insulted. We should just be like, are you serious government? Are you seriously gonna try to do this and make Robin Hood to be the bad guy when you do the exact same thing? So just something to think about and please be very careful what you wish for. Robin Hood needs to pay, Robin Hood needs to pay. Yeah, well it's gonna pay with more regulations. And those regulations could very well not be so good because I think everyone would agree that these regulations are just a pain in the side for traders especially for people that don't have that 25,000. I mean, how annoying is that? It's your money, you made it. Why don't you get to just behave as you get to see fit? Why are you restricted in your ability to, to buy and sell stocks as much as you want? So that's kind of my little rant on it. But like I said, I'd encourage you, just ask yourself the question, as somebody that understands these dynamics and understands the government hypocrisy here, are you sure you want more government in your life? Are you sure you wanna invite hypocrisy into this, that, or the other part of your life? I'll leave that up to you, but all I'm saying is I'm throwing that question out there, and as traders, whether you are right, left, center, doesn't matter, I think this is a common ground where everybody can agree, as that headline said, that that headline just basically you know, summarizes and points out the fact that yeah, whether you're left or right, the government's one massive hypocrite, and for me personally, I'm not quite sure I wanna invite more of this hypocrisy into my life. I would rather just say, thank you government, let me, let, me, let me make the choices as I see fit. But like I said, that is just something that I had to get out there. But Robin Hood, I get it why people are angry at him. But Robin Hood is just doing what the system does. The system manipulates, the system restricts. The system, I mean the government, they do all this stuff anyway. So Robin Hood is just doing what their parents are doing, right? So I, I don't know why you're getting upset at them. Get upset at the, the, the root of the problem. The root is the government. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching. If you agree, disagree, whatever, you can leave those comments down below. But also, like I said earlier, if you can't think of any more of these regulations that I'm maybe not thinking of, and you know, regulations, aka manipulation, I don't know, let me know down below. I'm sure there's more. And uh, yeah, good old government hypocrisy. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.